Now then, welcome back to another vlog. So today, we're going on a trip to the brewery. So yeah, we're going up to uh, Arillus. Little walk up past Peros, Jasmine, up that way. Um, gonna do the tour, I've been on it before. It's just nice to go for a little walk and have a couple of free beers at the end of it. Um, you don't get loads, but you get enough. So yeah, I'm gonna take you with us. We've got, I've got Carl and Norman coming with today, so got a bit of company. Uh, yeah, show you along the way, film film some of the walk, so you know where it is, you know where you're going, um, and just have a look at, I can't really film much in there, because you can't hear anything really, to be honest, but try and show you some of the beers that they do, and things like that, so I don't think it'll be a massively long vlog, but I hope somebody finds it interesting, so I'm going to set off now. So yeah, just waiting for these two to uh, get into action, and then we'll have... Uh, Set off from here. Right, just walking up now. Um, should be able to hear those crickets, cicadas, whatever they are. Insects, let's call them. If you look over there, there's a the tennis court. If anybody fancies a game of tennis, some little accommodation there, I believe. I believe we can rent that direct, or at least a couple of them. Not sure who with, but. If you know, put in the comments down below. Look at the beautiful flowers here. So yeah, so I'm here with these two. They're walking along, look. Hello. Waving. So yeah, we're going, we're going up here, we'll Just approaching the Jasmine. And the Peros on the right hand side. So I'll show you those in a minute. Right, so there's the Jasmine. There, run by Spiros and family. Lovely place to stay. Absolutely lovely. So, again, direct bookings. They have a website, so if you want to have a look at them. I'll put the link down below on the description of this video for the Jasmine. And again, similar, Peros stayed there probably three, four times. Again, lovely. But yeah, had some good dollars in there. Again, I'll put the description because they're uh, really, really nice. Apartments, quality. So yeah, we're going to have a little bit, there won't be much to see now, but you, you get the giant general gist of the direction, there's Effie, so anybody who knows Glenet Aquarius, that was his, um, that was his first, or I think his pull bar, when he arrived here, he used to uh, run the pull bar there, sadly it's closed now, uh, you can still rent the rooms, I believe, I think they're more like longer term lets rather than holiday lets, but yeah, lovely house there. There's the uh, there's the other bit of the effie. Look, I'll show you that. There you go. Look, look at that pool. That it was gorgeous when it was when it was built. So yeah, see you in a minute. Right, we've just gone around those uh, S bends and we're just getting to the top of the steep bit. A lot of work going on up here, as you'll see. This is all relatively new this year, I think. All that in there. I don't think, I think it looked like some kind of aggregate storage place, but certainly didn't look like that before. Oh dear. There appears to be an incident. There we go. <laughs> 
I think one's obviously moved over to avoid one coming the other way and ended up down that ditch. Yeah, interesting. Right, here we are. Now at the top of the hill, the T-junction. So for those who haven't been, if you go down there, that goes down there to a rillis, down another windy road. Sidari this way, you'll see. And then up here is the brewery. So I'm gonna go up there now. Just spotted this here. Zorba's Arillus restaurant. Looks interesting, never seen that before. I never noticed it before. It's obviously been here. Right, just scribed that, we're here by the way, um, 1.39 kilometres from the Barris to here, so if anybody's interested, obviously it is uphill, but it's not it's not ridiculously challenging, it's quite, um, quite a nice walk, a couple of steep bits around those bends, but that's it, so we're hopefully going to get in, we haven't booked, and you are, I think you are meant to email and tell them you're coming, because it's quite small in there, but Norman and Carl have gone in, see if we can get booked on, we will hopefully report back in a minute if they let us in. Right, so that's the tour over. Um, you can't film or take photos in there really. I think I did last time I came, I'm sure I took a picture or two, but he was quite adamant um, as the guy. But yeah, very interesting. 50,000 hectolitres of beer a year comes out of there. We tend to talk in brewers' barrels in England, and in every brewer's barrel there's 288 pints. So I'll work out how many pints a year they sell through this little brewery. But yeah, it's good, it's ultra modern, all stainless steel. Unpatched, unpasteurized and unfiltered so it's all very very fresh beer interestingly he says he's got something like eight months shelf five to eight months shelf life depending on the strength of the beer which i found interesting when you get it in england and it's obviously un it's obviously is pasteurized and filtered and it's something like um yeah something like um i think it's about five five six weeks so that was interesting but yeah what it's doing it is warm god we got up in the minute i stopped the the sweat was running so yeah thanks for watching we're going to go back now via i think raria or akrotiri bar so get ready for some more views from up there show you a bit of the walk there from here we're going to strive for it so we know how far the walk is so it's another walk that you can do whilst you're here in corfu so yeah thanks for watching and i'll um i'll see you along there when we get to a uh, grab you Only just dropping down the track now back down to Yanis restaurant you can hear the music the Greek music wafting up the hillside yes it's a it's been a gorgeous afternoon so look I'll talk to you in a second would I recommend the brewery trip yes just get out get out go for a walk treat it as part of your walk don't think it's gonna be mind-blowingly intensive it's not but yeah can you hear the music I don't know where it's coming from. Weird. Didn't hear that when I came up here yesterday, but there we go. But I'll uh, yeah, get to the brewery. There's a shop there as well so you can buy stuff. Anyway, I'll just leave you with the music here that's coming out of this house. Thank you. 
Right, so we're down back back down again. Um, back in the village. Just walking past Yanis on our left. And then back round to the Barris on the right. So look, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Please, 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 if you can, if you've got a YouTube account, click that little bell. Click the subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And you know, give me a thumbs up if you can. It just helps uh, YouTube know that people want to watch it and it pushes it out to other people. And let's get let's get San Stefanos firmly on the YouTube map. So people might think, I want to go there, and then in turn it helps the locals, doesn't it? So thanks for watching. Don't know what I'm going to do next. I've got a couple of ideas. I'm going to get a quad, I think, one day. I'm just going to go fly it off. Um, just to show you more of the village on the quad those that haven't been but yeah thanks for watching thanks for subscribing cheers guys